Hi, everybody. Today, we're going to talk about leadership, in particular, what it takes to be a leader. There's many different kinds of leaders. Remember, a leader could be good or bad, but still be a leader. A leader is somebody who gets people to follow them. And so even some of the worst people in history were leaders, in a sense, because they had people follow them. Which leads us to what causes people to follow leaders. And conversely, what traits does a person have or strategies, characteristics does a person have that lead them more predisposed to be a leader than not? There's numerous books that have been written about leadership. Uh, I would showcase four attributes that would more often than not make somebody a leader. So first and foremost is they have a passion for what they do. What is passion? Passion is something that you feel very strongly about. You, you can't live without. You're destined to do that which is your passion. And of course, if you follow your passion in life, no matter the criticism or adversity encountered, you have a great chance of not only achieving it, but being a very happy and peaceful person. That's how much passion can rule your world. And so that's what we hope to do. We hope that we have the passion in what we do in our life. That's what leaders do. They follow their passion. Second is challenges. Everybody has challenges, just like everybody has a passion. But the people who are successful are the ones that overcome their challenges. You can't eliminate some of the challenges. If you can't see, you can never see again. Uh, sometimes that's just the way it is. But you can overcome it in other ways. Uh, you can rely on other senses other than sight. But it's the same with the leader who uh, has whatever obstacles or challenges or barriers in their path. They can go around their barriers, they can go above their barriers, they can go through their barriers. But here's a key that I just want to highlight is they at least try. You at least try to overcome your challenges. I think that's really one of the most important parts of being a leader. Three, go down swinging. One of my favorite expressions, my the friend John, John Ellis, and he says, swing for the fences, he used to play baseball. Same kind of concept for me. Go down swinging, which means that I don't care what I have to do. Legal, of course. Ethical, of course. Moral, of course. But outside of all of those areas, I intend on making a success. No matter what I have to give up, time, money, even relationships, I will make this work. So you go down swinging for what you believe in. And that's an expression, so we don't mean that you, that you become violent. We mean that um, you're willing to sacrifice anything and everything to make that which is your passion come true. The last thing that leaders, those who become leaders, believe in, think in, uh, try, to, try to achieve is this thing called legacy. They build a legacy. It's not that you just want to build something that's going to last today. You want to build something that's going to last a lifetime. And that is, in so many ways, what we're trying to do as a leader, we want to build a company, we want to build a country, we want to build a world. We have such a great perspective on what we want to do, and that's what a leader does. So, the four aspects that I think make a leader are, are more predisposed to be a leader if you have these characteristics are that you have a passion for what you do and an all-encompassing passion, that you overcome whatever challenge is in your path, it doesn't matter what it is, you're going to overcome those challenges, that you're going to go down swinging for what you believe in. And last but not least, you're certainly going to be cognizant and work towards creating a leg legacy, something that lasts. Hope that helps as we continue on our discussion of leadership, and I certainly look forward to our future interactions, everybody. Enjoy the day.